What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid here. And yes, I got a new phone. Um, I was using an iPhone 4 before, and um, now this is an iPhone 5, so the quality is a little better. I'm happy with it. Uh, so I'll be doing my videos on this phone, of course, for now. So let's get to the video. Before I start, man, it's been crazy watching my videos. The numbers just rise and rise and rise. I think I, my last three videos, all of them are about to hit a thousand. Two already did, well over a thousand views. And my uh, last week video, uh, the pregame, is about to hit a thousand. It's just crazy, man. Thank you, everybody that watches, that likes, that comments. Whether you're a fan, you're not a fan, you're a hater. I appreciate it. I thank you all. Like I said before, and I repeat myself, this is my dream just to do this alone and not get paid for it. I don't really care. I would love for this to be my job one day. Uh, but I love doing this, man. I almost had 300 subscribers. To me, that's another milestone. And it seems like just like a couple videos ago, I was talking about hitting past 200. Now I'm really like 10, 15 subscribers away from 300. And it's really cool. So I thank you all very much. I love this. And I love the Raiders and I love all my other teams, man. And, um,. Sad day for the Dodgers. Well, I have to make a video of that. I think I'm going to have to do that today as well, make a video for them. Crazy day for baseball, that's for sure. All right, so let's talk about the Raiders, though. So we won the last two out of three, and we're playing the Kansas City Chiefs again. We're going back to Missouri. You know, we won Thursday night, went to Missouri, played the Rams, got our asses beat, demolished. And um, then last week, Battle of the Bay, going back home when we won great game of course but this week do we want to win now this is a this is a good topic you guys uh, and I want to know you guys opinions as well do we tank the rest of the season you know like I said and like other you guys said I know um, a black and silver way a uh, Raider John uh, you know they said as well as me if there's any other game that we get to win this year let it be battle of the bay please right until so that happened, and we all said that we don't care if we lose the rest of the season. So now, do we stick to that word? Do we care or not? I mean, as much as I love to see the Raiders win, and after a Sunday, that feeling you have for the rest of the week, it's great. But when it comes to our future and this draft and the offseason, do we tank the rest of the season? Do we lose on purpose? Or do the Raiders just play like the Raiders do and play... Um, play some pretty decent teams and just lose to them are we fine with that because right now I don't think we're in the top three for the first pick we lost we're in out of the races for the first overall pick after the W I think we're in like a three to five way tie um, but with the, I don't know I, I don't know exactly know how the system works but I believe that uh, there are other teams ahead of us that's what I read so because of that we don't really need the first pick right because Everyone thinks Marcus Mariota is going to go first. We don't need him. We have Derek Carr, right? But, and to me, it feels like having the first pick gives us a little bit of, uh, how would you say, leeway and a little bit of security. If we had that first pick. Anybody want any takers? Trades, you know? Look what the Rams did with the Redskins. And last week, they sent out those six players that they got in that trade to the coin toss. And all Washington got was RG3 out of that, really. And look at him. Not that great. He's on the bench. Not starting this Sunday either. And they got pretty six good, uh, six pretty good players. So could we do something like that to a team that needs Mariota? It's a possibility. That's why I'd love the first pick. Not to pick anybody because we don't need them. To trade. To make some moves. That's uh, I think that's what's going to help us in the future. But even having a top three to me is fine. I mean, I feel like Amari Cooper would be a great fit as a Raider for a wide receiver, which we need. Um, but I'm not too sure of any other prospect out there that um, we can bring in to be a Raider. So, you know, of course, that will come on later after the offseason. We'll start eyeing everybody and see who, who's a good fit. Obviously, Cleo Mack was a great pickup, and we need another first-round success um, to make this team better. So that's a topic. So do we go into Kansas City and lose on purpose, or do we fight and we win? I want us to win. It jeopardizes our chances of getting a top draft pick. But then again, what if those teams lose too? You know, we keep losing to, or winning. Or what if they win? We win together. We play the Chiefs. Um, you know, we can't. The, the key to success, the key to victory here 
for the Raiders is to not go in thinking like it's going to be like two weeks ago on Thursday night. Uh, I think we learned our lesson against San Diego where it came easy. We should have won, almost won, and then played them again and played sloppy offense and didn't win the game. Um, I want us to win, man. I love winning. I would love to see the Raiders win. As much as I want a successful offseason and a great pick, uh, maybe we won't win the we won't beat the Bills and the Denver Broncos in the last two games. But then again, winning at home is way better than winning on the road, in my opinion. And we're not we don't do good on at ten AM games. It's it's a fact. It dates back I don't know I think we're on what, a eighteen, nineteen game losing streak on uh on those games. Uh, but um, they're going to do something different. Coach Sperano has been um, doing a little little bit uh, different in his practices. I think they've been starting at 10 a.m., which technically the game will start at 10 a.m. our time. So, And they're going to fly out for one day. So to me, it's all about going to sleep early, waking up um, earlier like you would on a regular Sunday if you're playing at home, and just adjusting that way. You know, if you wake up at 7 o'clock on a Sunday to play at home, then, you know, push back three hours or so, four hours, and wake up that early, but get some sleep, eat well, and uh, prepare, man. Should be a good week. If we win or lose, I won't mind it, honestly. Um, I don't, not that I don't care. Uh, I, I can see both great, you know, the good side of winning, of course. It feels good um, watching our team do well, and then the side of losing. Well, we got what we wanted. We wanted to beat the 49ers. We're all happy about it. Now let's set ourselves up for a great offseason. And to my opinion, that sounds like a good thing to do. And this is off topic. This is totally random. It has nothing to do. I have a hairline. I have hair. Um, someone thought I didn't have a hairline. That's why I wear beanies. I just wear beanies because I'm trying to wear my Raider gear, you know, for my videos. So. What do you guys think? In the comments below, let me know. What do you think? What would your opinion on what do you think the Raiders should do? You know, there's so much talk about this offseason, where we're going to play, either Oakland or L.A., or moving somewhere out. Um, I know there's a lot of friction between the Bay and the Southern California fans. Um, I'm an L.A. Raider, but I'm a fan of the Raiders, so it doesn't matter if they play in Oakland or L.A. I'm a fan of the Raiders, wherever they go. Um, and I hope a lot of you are the same and don't stop supporting the Raiders because they move. That'd be... That's stupid. That's retarded. Let me get to these weekly picks, man. All right, so tonight the Rams are playing the St. Louis Cardinals. They're playing at home. Um, you know, Cardinals don't have their uh, Carson Palmer. But the Rams have recorded two shutouts. And I'm actually have to go with Alex Does It 24 the guy you've seen on uh, my video a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to go to him, go with him to Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, he went with me when we beat the Chiefs. So I'll wear my Raider colors, you know. Be out there. I got the Rams winning at home. I think they're actually playing good football, man. What do you know? Raiders and Chiefs. I really don't care. I shouldn't say I really don't care. I don't mind if we lose or win. I'll be happy if we win. I'll be okay if we lose, depending on how. Um, but I'm going to say we'll win. Something tells me these players like that feeling, and they're going to come out, and they're going to come out swinging hard. Raiders over the Chiefs. All right, I'm going to run down these real quick. I got the Patriots over the, the Dolphins. Um, Giants over the Redskins. Let's move this over here real quick. Bengals over the Browns. Uh, Colts over the Texans. Ravens over the Jaguars. Packers over the Bills. Steelers over the Falcons. Panthers over the Bucks. Jets over the Titans. Lions over the Vikings. Seahawks over the Niners. Eagles over the Cowboys. And Bears over the Saints. And um, my thoughts and prayers go out to Cam Newton. Uh, I know he was in that uh, car accident. And I saw his truck. And it's... Uh, it's good to know that he's all right as um, that car flipped like three times and it, the whole front is just smashed. And he smiled and he was on the stretcher. He won't play Sunday, but I, I still have them winning. I think the players were going to put together a win for him. So, Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the Raiders in this Sunday. What do you want to happen? What would you like to happen? Um, yeah, man. Raiders. Feels good still. I don't care. I'm ready for the off season. I'm ready to find out where we're going, man and uh, see what these players look like to come to us. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing to everybody. I appreciate it. I love doing this. I love the Raiders, and I love all y'all. Peace out. Raider Nation, be safe.